Okay, Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash, Kahalayim La Alahayano, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash, Shalom, my Barakim, La Bakayarim Yasha Allah, Washani Kabad, Gawala Wakab, Zukwanyim Noah, Waha Shalayakim, Noah Yasha Allah, Baayt. Alright, what I just said in the Hebrew was, Bless you, Most High, bless the Son. All praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, and double honors to our elders and apostles in these times of Israel, known as Great Millstone. All right, this is uh, John 8, 31 and 32. It says, Then said Yahweh Shah to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my, my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So um, we always we always have people who uh, come past the camp or the altar. Maybe you come across videos, and um, you believe. You know, of course, you believe on the Lord, and and you and you want to learn more, and you don't know what to do, um, <clears throat> and you want to know the truth because the truth's going to make you free, and you just need your eyes to be opened, because what it is, we have these people uh, just speaking from experience. They they come to the camp. They may listen the whole time. And they say, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. And we tell, we always tell them, Lord willing, you know, and you got to pray that the Lord will open your eyes to the truth, you know, and and, um, and that goes for anyone. Even if you're just learning the truth, that you're Israelite, learning your tribe, you know, the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. And uh, now it's time to learn, you know, to learn all the truth of Yahweh Shah. But your eyes have to be open to that. All right. So, again, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now, this is Psalms 119 and 18. It says, Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. All right. And we know that Yahweh Shai encompasses the law now because he was the end of the law. Now, we rehearse the righteous acts, of course. All right. And have faith in Yahweh Shai. But the important thing in this verse here that I wanted to uh, touch on um, for the passer buyers is... Uh, what you should really be asking for is for the Lord to open your eyes to his word, all right, and to his, uh, to his spirit, okay? And the way that you would say that is gal ayanya la debarka, all right? Or gal ayanya la rachaka, which means open my eyes to thy spirit. Um, that's the important thing, you know? If you, the scripture says, desire sincere, sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Um, and again, to the pastor buyers and those that are just w waking up and finding out the truth, this is a good prayer that you could pray. You would say, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Most High in the name of the Son, Bahashem in the name, Raka, Holy, Hakodash, the Spirit, Babakwasha, uh, Babakwasha, Babakwasha, which means please, please, please. Gal or Gala Salakia Gala Ayanya Gala means open Ayanya means my eyes La Dabarka means to thy word La Rachaka means to thy spirit And then you say the water uh, to wap All right And so again uh, Psalms 119 and 18 Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law all right, and out of the law also comes prophecies. You know, it's not, when you see law, it's not just talking about the ordinances, you know, the laws, statutes, and commandments. There are prophecies in the law, all right? There are parables, and there's doctrine that comes out of it. And by these things, we can receive salvation. It said men were saved through wisdom, when you read Wisdom of Solomon. Um, I believe it's the 14th or 15th chapter. All right, so that was just, I just wanted to make that point. All right, for the passer buyers, it's just a quick prayer for you all to uh, to get started, and for all of us really to continue to for the Lord to keep our eyes open, um, eyes with the uh, with the eye salve. All right, let me just look that up really quick here. Let me just get that really quick. Let's see if it'll come up. Revelation three and eighteen. I counsel thee to buy of me 
gold tried in fire, that thou mayest be rich in a white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And how do we clothe ourselves, and what does that all represent? It represents this truth, because the truth is what makes us blameless and perfect, is the doctrine. That's the only way that we can be perfect is in our speech, is in our doctrine, which is Yahweh Shai's words, because he was perfect. And if we do that, it says that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. That means we won't get caught out there. Continuing on, it says, and anoint thy eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. All right. And that eye salve is what helps us see through the madness, the Esau's philosophies and all kinds of uh, doctrines that he tries to spew out to sway the faith of the elect. All right. That, that believe, you know, even just the passer buyers that they believe and they know the truth is going to make them free. You have to pray that the Lord will give you that eye salve. In order to do that, your eyes, you have to pray, you know, for your eyes to be open. You would say, Gala Ayanya La Dabarka, which means open my eyes to thy word, or Gala Ayanya La Rachaka, which means open my eyes to thy spirit. All right, so with that, all praise to Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, Shalom to elect. Again, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah is the Son, Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit, with comforts and guides us and all understanding, and double honors to our elders and apostles coming back in the reincarnation. Known as Great Millstone. Again, call Halayim La Lahayanawa, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Hawakakwada, Shalom.